I feel good. I think my partner also feel good. We are ready for the final. We have a lot of confidence for, for this tournament. Of course, uh, sometimes you have more luck or no. Last year we lose in the first round. This year we have all, all chance. We're trying to, to give our best. I feel so confident with him, so I think we are really, really ready for this final. We think so much about this tournament, and um, now we have all chance. Um, we try and give our best. Vamos! Vamos. It's been a bit topsy-turvy, but it's going good. We're definitely a bit excited for the final. It's going to be a great match. We definitely have a chance, but we're just going to enjoy ourselves and we're just letting fate decide for us. Good evening and welcome to the bright lights of the Brentwood Centre. As Matchroom Pool is proud to present the final of the Nine Ball World Cup of Pool. Ooh. A race to 11 racks and $60,000 on the line. These two fired up and ready to go. Let's welcome our first team into the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Alicia Xian and Tolian Han. It's Team Singapore! <laughs> And their opponents ready to rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the arena David Alcady and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. It's Team España. It's been such a brilliant one. And we have one match remaining, and the person who wins it will lift that brilliant trophy, which is on the table right now. The commentary team for this fantastic final is Jeremy Jones, Carl Boys, and Phil Yates. Michael, this is the culmination of what's been a very dramatic, nervy at times, but always thrilling week. That's what you get with a World Cup of Pool. That's what you get with Just Scotch doubles. Races to seven initially, <laughs> then nine, and now it is a race to 11 for that sparkling silverware. The only thing we know for sure, we are going to get a new World Cup champion tonight. Either Spain or Singapore will be the ninth nation to have the, the glory of winning this event. Philippines, China, USA, Germany, Finland, England, Chinese Taipei, and Austria have gone before. Yeah, one right, right. Hello, Aloysius Schiap asking to switch sides because, of course, he's left-handed. David Alcady right, so that gives them a little more room. Call, boys. I know it sounds Spain rather strange in a, a race to 11, but the the lag can be a big advantage. Yeah, it is a big advantage. Not really in the sense of they're going to run 11 racks, but more just get off to a good start. You know, if they break off and get a nice, nice table layout, that can settle you down. First rack, Spain break. Yeah, and maybe no two teams have got more shots after like than the two in the finals.
noticed Sanchez has swapped the opposite sides of the table. Maybe David's had a word and said, your break wasn't working in the semis from the side he's been breaking from. And then here we go. Let's have a look at the table. And this is what we just discussed. Look at the layout. First shot. He's going to be the one, because if he overruns it and lands on the left side of the pink four, things might become a little bit more difficult. Yeah, it looks very natural here to get position. And I don't know if he'll have to deal with any collision on the seven when he plays the four or one of these guys. That'll be Ruiz, but ooh. Ooh, that's like way light. That's like the most nervous stroke I've seen from David all, all week. Yeah, maybe getting the break after all might not be a good move. It's the first shot he's played. Wow, he is way short there. Yeah, maybe two feet. I was just going to comment that... I think no two, two players have looked to where they're, they don't fall off of their speed as an individual than Team Spain. They seem like they're, they're playing just as well, if not better, if just one of them was at the table full time. It was all a cunning plan. What a recovery. And prior to their sim, I was in the practice room watching these guys, and they actually made several kick shots that were super impressive. You just get the feeling that it's Spain's year, and of course, there's a long way to go in the final. But the signs of that in this opening rack where Arcadi under it's in, then Sanchez fighting. Yeah, there's many things that point to your comment there, Carl. I mean, it wasn't until this morning that they committed their first foul of the entire event. They've only lost eight racks so far. I mean, just the numbers add up to that. Of course, Singapore is going to try and throw all that out the window, given the opportunity. But looks like that lag's going to show up here, number one. A break and run out straight out of the gate for the Spanish thoroughbreds, although it was unconventional. This positional shot from David Alcady, Jeremy, was a real mystery. Yeah, I think he was worried about it just and the overhit really and getting a little steep on that pink four. And I think Ruiz, if my Spanish served me correctly, I think he said, it's OK. I made a little trick shot on the four. And uh, these guys are off to the races a little bit. Again. Carl can't help but think what a difference a year makes in last year's World Cup of Pool. Spain were really disappointed to lose in the first round, 7-4 to Italy. Yeah, they've certainly come back with a bang, and I was just thinking then, if you look at the four teams yeah, that were in the semi-finals, the second round. Spain, both very good Spain friends, break, traveled leading one rack to, to all the majors together, and then you put Lian Han, who Lian Han coaches and helps yap out, then you got USA. They've played in many Moscone clubs together. And Chinese Taipei are brothers, so the bond of the two players 
seems to play a bit of a key part. The trouble for Spain here, well, one of the one of the issues. The two and the five have got a bond. Yeah, and he took a yeah, lot of speed off of that break yeah. there, I think. Yeah. To be frank, borderline a little mild. Yeah, there's a bit of an... Is it an unwritten rule where we don't want soft breaks? You know, we want to see the break shot hit with pace. Well, I saw Marcel Eckhart, who refereed one of our semi-finals this afternoon, earlier in the event. He did issue a warning when he thought that the break hadn't been played with enough gusto. Oh, he's gone for this, it looks like. And I'll tell you, anything tough, anything super important, it seems like Ruiz has buried him. And it seems like it's been like that all year. It's just a little discussion on making sure the two doesn't go up in the corner. No, it was never a problem. Well, if they can't follow the same path the two ball just followed, they're in big trouble here. Youth and experience. Would you go three rails around the five here? I think that's about their only option, maybe. Coming to the rail on the bottom of your screen, then the short rail on the left around the purple five. Oh, he can get between the six nine. I guess that's got to be better. He has a small chance of potting the blue two in the left center. You would think he's going to go close with a full hit. Oh, missed that by a, a ball. Or two. Yeah, I'm not sure he Going intended ahead. that much English, that much left spin. Start the clock, please. Gear ball sent well wide. Look at the remaining balls sitting very pretty. Yeah, and if you're in Singapore's corner, exactly what you didn't want to see half bars. You know, they are the underdog. And to be honest with you, you know, fair to say that Spain may be a little nervous in this final. So to get them settled early is pretty dangerous. Yeah. A little off angle here. An easy shot to make, of course, on the seven, but you'd like to get your partner off the rail with the cue ball when shooting the nine. There is a 30 second shot clock, as in all of the matches here. Each team has one 30 second extension per rack, and you might as well use it on the nine ball if you've not employed it already. Never any scintilla of doubt. 
So the hook paid dividends from there. Spain tidied up. It is 2-0. You just suspected, Jeremy, that the, the hook was going to cause trouble. Yeah, and Han, and I expected Han, since he had the cross side kick shot there, that expected him to really make contact at least, but it was, seems like it's going to take a lot to, to keep Spain off the shot. And to me, so far, Ruiz looks very, very comfortable. We'll see about David, but uh, but Francisco, I tell you, he looks he looks very comfortable and confident. I believe we have the the total tournament tail of the tape, as it were, and it makes very interesting eating. Both teams, obviously, to reach the final of produce some really high quality pool. Look at the pot success rate, though, from Spain: 98%. That's sustained over their first four matches and the two racks we've already seen in the final. In terms of ball spotted, nothing to choose between them, but in terms of pots missed, there is a massive disparity, Carl. Just seven for Spain, 25 pots missed by Singapore. Yeah, it was the safety errors that I was looking at. Don't seem to be any so safety that. errors from Spain, just four. Spain to break, leading two racks to nil. Yeah, well, I you pull, pull the players, you'd have to say David, really a great safety player. And I'll tell you, that's why their score lines have been so lopsided, those stats we just saw. <coughs> oh, dry break from that rail. They're going to have a great starter on the one, so this is what it's going to take. I know it. Several balls really rattled. The six and the one, but nothing dropped. Yeah, and people, uh, you can see tournament dry break there, the seventh one for Spain, but some players don't believe that four inch pockets makes a difference it's on the break shot. Well, you can see it right there, and that's another thing they can afford. Yeah, I fully agree, JJ. The four inch pocket does change that break a little bit. The bigger the pocket, you seem to get a lot more balls sliding in from all different angles. Maybe have a go at the bank. Yeah, it's a little awkward, the safety as well. I mean, nothing guaranteed there. I'll tell you, I think he wants to go for the bank, and I think he should, really. Follow your ball just above the seven for a little cut shot on the three. As long as you don't baby it too much, it's really a hard bank to sell out on because it doesn't want to hang. Yeah, plus this is a final. You've got to go for it. You want to try and win it. Oh, he's missed it by a while. Well, he's hit it with a lot of speed, too. Not much protection there. Maybe trying to get a little more out of the cue ball than was needed there. I would have maybe laid the cue ball more around the center of the table and just let Yap cut the three. That way I could protect on the two a bit more. You saw that al was out before the two hit a cushion. This is pretty ideal because a 5-6 combination kind of makes sense. So he can just stop his ball here on the three and have a decent angle to get around the seven playing off the four ball. It's all speed control here. I mean, the six is so easy. I would come tight of the seven myself where David was pointing, yeah, into that position there because you can't really miss the six on the combination.
Just floating on one rail here. Carl to the center of the table. I mean, hard to, hard to mess up that. Yeah, I don't think he must be thinking he's coming two rails, but... Extension. Extension code. No? Maybe he feels like he can no, miss no, no, no. the six. No, no, no. It looks like just hit the six, but I think the other camera angle, if he goes into yeah, the rail yeah, 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 at the same no, time, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it will hang. Yeah, he could get underneath it, I guess, but he can go a long ways up the table one rail. So as long as he doesn't baby it too much, two rails, I think the five could get away from you. No, pero si la, la banda, si la sacas por ahí, me la juego al medio. ¿Te gusta? Sí. Venga, vamos. What's the line of this cue ball saying? Well, bueno, tire. That's saying very good indeed. The eight passes the nine, so that little angle is perfect. This is the start they wanted. This is the dream start for Spain. The first rack where David played the poor positional shot and then Francisco kicked it in. Normal service resumed.
the World Thank Cup you. trophy, what that would Brand mean four. to Spain. In they've break, had success in football, of course. I remember in his early career, Steve Ballesteros helped Spain win the World Cup of Golf. How about the World Cup of Pool? Well, David Alcady and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz are well on the way already. How about that, Jeremy? Yeah, that's the epitome of squatting your rock. And he's got a great shot on the one. He's a little off angle going away from the three, but he should be able to follow up decently. The four is handy as well. A little bit of work from the five to the six. But again, a, to get the premium out of this, and he may just hold the ball, but the right guy's shooting in my mind. Nothing against David, but Ruiz has just made everything. Top rail looked a little bouncy, a bit quick. Like he's done super well to me. Now, does five doesn't pass the nine, maybe, or does it? That's what they're thinking about, not just a shape shot on the four. How do I get on the five? The work from the five to the six is really the part that could cause a little bit of problems. Just off straight on the pink four. And again, to me, the right guy's shooting it. He's got to cheat the pocket a little bit, put a little power coming up the right side. Extension code. Es buscar el punto, ¿sabes lo que te digo? Sí. Ya, no es apretarla, es alargarla. ¿Sabes lo que te digo? Yeah, ¿Te yeah, gusta yeah. esa, Javier? Sí, sí, sí. Tocando con la blanca aquí, ya me, me deja eso. Just me making sure he doesn't need, put too much right spin here. It's the only problem with this shot. You could accidentally get a little much on it and get behind the eight. Otherwise, should be okay. That's right. That should be perfect. And since that early positional error from David, and it didn't cost him after kicking it in, that being Ruiz, I think Alcady has settled down a bit. It was there in plain sight at the last matchroom event, the UK Open. Alcady got to the semi finals. <laughs> Francisco Sanchez Ruiz beaten only by Filler in the final. And that individual form has translated into a very cute combination here. Is that good enough for you, Francisco? Perfect angle on the eight. Continue to roll.
does seem to be looking likely than Cisco, and it will be his first ever Moscone Last Cup. Five. I believe Spain it's sold three. out. Four to in Las Vegas, so it's a big crowd. And last time out in Vegas in 2019, it was loud. I remember the Americans brought it. The American fans, that is it. It was wild out there. Oh, Yeah, the nine ball threatening the side pocket there and Y tú con el 3 metes y, y rompes. Me gusta más ese. ¿Sí? Sí. Si no podemos defender con el 4, ¿sabes lo que te digo? Touchy little safety here, because if he separates, he can't leave the 2 near the 4, 6, 7, I don't think, unless he has to get the snooker or else he'll get buried behind there. So maybe going for the bank? And now the breakout, possibly. He wants to be a bit careful, he doesn't get too much into a tube ball. It's no good. No, he wanted to hit him coming in, not from the back side. Percentages say most likely not to get snookered if he hits him on the way in, but you know, not, at least he created a little space for the jump shot. Extension. Extension code. 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 Maybe you run the cue ball safe, a couple rails behind the 5-9, possibly. Maybe bank the 4 off the 7 or in the corner clean. No value in 2 railing kick. That's not bad. These guys aren't going to pass on this jump, though, I don't think. Boy, hand. Miss Q sounded horrible. Yeah, I'm wondering if he forgot to chalk the jump cue. Stand the clock, please. It's not something you see in very often the modern day jump cues and the level that these pros jump nowadays. Usually they, they, they do hit the ball. Okay, Singapore. Can you claw your way back into this final? Spain snookering themselves and then the foul on the jump. Obviously, ball in hand, the percentages for all these teams pretty high on the run out, but good. It's a nice little easy starter to get some time on the table for Team Singapore. And again, if they break the balls like they did in the semifinal, getting shots after the break, they can overcome this lead. There's never been a whitewash in a World Cup final in the world of pool. And there's not going to be one here. Because Singapore, gratefully, no doubt relieved, get their first rack on the board.
The jump shot went spectacularly incorrect, Jeremy. Yeah, and like Carl said, Phil, something that you rarely see. You'll see a fouls, of course, catching a piece of the ball you're going over occasionally. You'll hop the cue ball off the table after contact on the object ball, but not too often the miscue and right into the ball in front of you. And, you know, I think I would have went for the breakout shot myself, but Rui just didn't work out. That's their path to the final. Not quite as comfortable as their opponents. But I thought, thought from six each against Finland in particular, they were really good. They're under a lot of pressure in that match. They'd wasted opportunities early. But then rock solid from six each and in the semi-finals. The story of that match was quite simply five break and run outs, which really should have been six. On one occasion, Yap hung a nine ball. Everyone thought he would pot. Rock six, Singapore to break, trailing four rocks to one. indeed yeah besides a little awkward queuing over the pink four he's got plenty of time here I wouldn't rush this 60 seconds after the break these players have and then after that it's a 30 second shot clock big shot here in the match so yeah, that was a pretty comfortable swing on a Pretty touchy shot. Extension code. Just these two balls. And it'll be two racks on the spin. That'll just give Spain a little nudge to say we're in this match and we're in this final. Singapore.
Thank you. Rack seven. Singapore to break. Trailing four racks to two. That's Desislava Boshilova from Bulgaria, our referee for the final, where Singapore are fighting back. I don't believe Yap will hold back on this break. One looks cuttable to me, but definitely be wrong. Not sure why Aloysius was upset about kind of put his hand up in the air like he's not sure he wanted to make the one in the side, I guess. Or it, it just landing in a position. It's close. Yeah, if you had to put the one just with your cue. One board there then. You'd we'll probably be, be able to put that in the side, but One I think because it's a little thinner, mm -hmm. just feels awkward, doesn't it? Can you kind of double bank That's the one underneath the five and nine and just drag the just cue ball sure behind the brown okay. seven? Do, do that looks pretty one. playable. Yeah, I like that shot. I think that's what he's going to play as well. All about speed. You don't want to lose this one ball. Sure. Pretty handy. Of course, they'd have liked to get the snooker. And I think maybe he was worried the one may contact the purple. La defensa no pasa nada fácil, ¿no? Digo la defensa, no está fácil. This happens more than you might imagine. Players taking their extension early on, in this case, on the one ball, because there's lots to work out. Of course, it is a gamble, because if you get into a, a sticky situation time-wise later in the rack, then you've got no safety net. And he's forced upon it here because... The three is impeding an easy safety. He can't just move the one and lose the five nine. So possibly has to shoot at this. Extension. Is there Extension a piece goal. of this one ball where he can pot it, or is it too thin? Yeah, I don't think it's makeable, Carl. We'll see how the nerves are going, because if you're feeling good, you add a lot of spin to this shot, trying to bank the one to the side rail and then back to the bottom rail and run the cue ball. If you just try to chop it, you may not get the one in, out of play. Yeah, that's what I would have been afraid of right there. And from that distance, I understand not wanting to apply the spin, but it really needed spin to kind of kick the one and add a little speed to that object ball. You saw that dark cloud on the horizon, Jeremy. I think it's going to get the two, but if not, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be a good one. I think with a nice solid stroke, he gets around the three, a couple rails on top of the two towards the center of the table. Oh, and definitely didn't get the cue ball how he wanted either. Kind of stunned it. Yeah, these mistakes, if they keep coming, well, you miss a ball or you play a ball. Safety shot, they can start to build up, and that's when the tension builds. 15. And definitely a different pocket than we saw all the first couple of days now that the 
Table's broken just a little bit. That's going to be too much, or is it okay? I think it's all right. I think Es que al final te puedes tocar tres. Remember, they utilized their extension, so had to watch the clock. The beeps at five seconds almost came in there. What do you like here, Carl? You like just shaving the one up towards the six and coming kind of back behind the three five? Just fire the bank in, clear up, four three. Instead, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Maybe there's an edge, JJ. Yeah, there may be. And what the players think of more these days is really repositioning the object ball because of the jump cue, right? I mean, you fan the one over, it gets up a little bit, even though you got the snooker, your opponent may be able to play a 1 6 combo. So pretty smart shot there from Yap. <laughs> Yeah, and looking down the barrel, he definitely has a piece of it. Watch out, nine ball. Watch out, nine ball. Set something up. Caught up in the conversation, Spain. That shot had to be on the hurry. Yeah, when you've no shot clock extension because you've used it there's not really a lot of time for discussions then so you do have to be mindful of that you can just get a good one ball near the bottom and get up towards that seven with a cue ball okay not really sure about this one thought he could have got up towards the seven anyway no i, th I think you're right there carl definitely could have Work the cue ball back up table. He's saying, do I go here? And David's giving him the okay, I think, on the bank. This uh, high ball, maybe. And he's going to stun it a little bit, trying to throw it back towards that corner. How many big one balls has Ruiz made this week? <laughs> Yeah, that's why David gave him the nod. He said, go ahead. But it has to be said, the the safety effort of Telian Han was not telling in the slightest. Carl, these are the kind of racks you love to win, the ones you've had to really toil for. Yeah, it's a, it's a big rack as well, just because of the scoreline. Singapore have won the last two. Well, this just gets that gap back to decent size for Spain. Perfect, 
Give or not on a sixpence, but shouldn't be an issue at all. David Alcady pops the nine ball. And so the, the mini resurgence of Singapore, for now at least, is over. Spain have five on the board. The opposition just a couple. must bear in mind here the finances are very high indeed now David Alcady Francisco Sanchez Ruiz and Aloysia Schapp have cashed big checks in the past but this would be by far the biggest payday for Tolian Han he's 50 years of age he's the oldest player in the tournament what a windfall it would be half of 60,000 US dollars. The total price fund is 250,000, a quarter of a million for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz this year has been fruitful. For David Alcady for a while it wasn't. He was 65th in the World Nine Ball Championship. He lost his first match in the World Pool Masters but then at the UK Open started to play really well. He lost a filler in the semi-finals having beaten the likes of Immanen, Potunski and he. Now we're hearing I think that the, the referee might have had a word in the ear of the Spanish about the strength of their break. Spain to break leading five racks to two. And to be honest Phil I think there's a little merit there. There was definitely one break where it was just a mild arm break from David. And I think really that's going to has a chance to hurt him. I don't think you need to go 100% or anything near. But I think the real light one can cause some clusters and miss the corner ball as well. Well, if that's anything to go by, Carl, the, the polite warning might have done them a favor. See, at nine ball. Yeah, this here just center of the table with the three near the corner. You can afford the cut shot on the two. Position isn't totally essential as far as where you get. I think he got about the premium again. Well, they'd like to get to the top row on the five. That's really what they're discussing. If you look at where the cue ball's at now, you can certainly cut the five from there pretty easily. So we're talking about position from the three to the five. That'd be pretty good. Big discussions happening on these last two shots. Sí, ¿no? Con un poquito de curva, ¿eh? Venga, va. 
the contact with the six. I think it was just thin enough to save their bacon. Sanchez just seems to be asking David things that look a little obvious the last few shots. Maybe he's just looking for some sort of reassurance, I don't know. Well, you've played plenty of doubles. You know, I think David settled in now. I commented earlier, I thought he was a little bit off at first, and we saw a couple little struggles on some shots. But if you have a partner you feel like is a little bit struggling or a little bit more nervous than, than usual, you might communicate a hair more, just making sure they're okay with that. Doesn't seem like these two are going to have any problems. Some teams compete in silence, others talk minimally. These have discussions, but while they talk the talk, they're also walking the walk. Their position even more powerful now. 6-2. You know, Singapore is 85 miles north of the equator. The name Singapore derives from the Sanskrit meaning Lion City, to get back into this match now. On the right-hand side there in the baseball cap, Scott, he knows he's on camera. James Jordiardis on the left, who was representing Australia. Spain to break, Lady six racks to two. How missed that, IJJ? Three feet. Well, I hope he's not listening in. He might come up and find you, Carl, <laughs> Carl but... Ruiz to break off, and we know he doesn't hold back. <laughs> well, we'll see how David's feeling on this shot here. Not easy on the two. I remember in Moscone Cup, Joshua Filler was playing with Jason Shaw. And Joshua played a crazy bank onto the nine. The nine was in a similar position to where it is now. I'm not saying he's going to play that or attempt it. But kind of just reminded me of it. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to talk about shots that have a little two way in them, he can certainly shoot that shot and stun one rail behind the seven and the five. He's going to cut the two coming around to the back side of the nine and the eight and the three. This is the finals, and that was hit a little thin. It's not going to do it, and we may see that shot you were talking about, Carl. You know, that nine ball is lurking near a pocket, so there's going to be some temptation here. Well, this is a perfect scenario. I always remind people pool is a true sport. Some days it'll, nine out of ten days, it'll say you need to play safe here. But to change the momentum a little bit, sometimes your gut says, hey, I got to go. I got to fire at this bank here and maybe get something going for Team Singapore. Yeah, certainly wouldn't blame them for attempting this nine. It'd get the crowd involved as well. I think he can draw into the seven, too, trying to hold the cue ball. Well, he's hitting a high ball, so that means safety, I believe. Also using the seven to contain the cue ball. 
and went for it. Call the crowd were involved, but it was groaning in empathy. Yes, yeah. Would you change the extension to Singapore? Yeah, they kind of looked good all the way down there, didn't it? On the replay. Extension code. The three balls was past the nine on Saturday. Right in line with that red three. Yeah, when they shoot the three, they may move the eight and nine. We'll see, but really, it's all about this two ball. And again, another big shot, and Ruiz is at the table. Does he play a drag here, kind of? Well, may have snookered him just well enough to cut off the rail first on the two and the bottom rail kick. That'd be hard to believe. Yeah, the left side of the table. It's close. He may have to put a little swerve on it. Well, he's got the best view in the house, so... Yeah, maybe he's just going to bend this cue ball a little bit. And he did. And then he made it. He tripped. Can you get through the gap, JJ? I don't think so. Actually, I think he does have a small piece of the red three. And that got a bit scary as that cue ball was going towards the corner. Well, he can, because he's using his pool cue, not the jump stick, so they can see the edge. Just trying to get some distance, get the three over yeah, behind his seven. Yeah, Maybe there's a combo. Yeah, and he needs a little bit of cut on it if he does play the combo, because... That way the three will come off the seven a little off the top rail and back towards the middle of the table a little bit. I don't think he can really shoot at this. The problem is if you try to play safe off the right side of the red and run the cue ball, you might accidentally make the seven. So a little bit tricky. Yeah, that's what I would have worried about right there. And so it was a funny situation. The worst kind of hook. Self-imposed. Four racks behind as well. It'd be a big jump shot. Yeah, surprising. Pretty doable two rail kick here. That's a jump shot from Yap. That is a thin one. I don't know if the three ever touched the rail, Carl. What a difficult jump shot that was. Here's another look. Yeah, straight in the pocket. This is tricky, though. The hand needs to stay still. Put a good on this. He done as well. These guys are fighting. Yeah, they've got to grind it out. They know they're down. Got to try and make something happen. Spain haven't won those match have they? They've only lost eight racks before this final. We yet to see them in a tight, tight match. Yeah, and the 
Lois just wanted up another foot or so out of that. This is the, one of the more hard shots on the pool table when you got to hold the ball a little bit. The master for Team Singapore has pulled off two big shots to keep the hopes alive. Yeah, Han is turning back the years, I'll tell you that. And now it's top marks for the pupil on the nine ball. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Spain and Singapore. What a final. This is turning out to be a great final. And I'm back with some more prizes. I've got some posters to give away. Give those away after. But now I need to know who's going to win this signed eight ball here from Alicia Xia. And who knows pool? Who knows their stuff? Who wants to win these prizes? You've got to put your hand up if you want to win one of these prizes. I'm seeing lots of pointing. You know what? I've seen these gentlemen all week, and I've not given them any attention. So come on then, sir. Come forward. Let's give them a round of applause. No, no, stay here, man. Got to keep the beers over there. We've got to be quick because Sky Sports is a short break. So three questions and a fourth if you get stuck. All right, here we go. So how many titles has David al Qaeda and FSR won combined? Repeat the question. How many, how many titles has Team Spain won combined? World Cup? No, all together. Two. Two is incorrect. And as in as individuals together, it's 16 is the correct answer. Right. So stay here, stay here, stay here. What age did Alicia Schiap start playing billiards? What age? 12. 12 is incorrect. Nine is the correct answer. Right, okay. One more question, man. you got one more question. Come on. In fact, I'll give you a true or false question. You can't go wrong here, all right? True or false, no team has ever won back-to-back -back cups. Is that true or false? Back-to-back -back World Cup of Pools. He, he wants some help. True is the correct answer. Do you think he deserves a prize? Well, no, but here you go. Here's your prize set, sign ball. And now I've got some sign posters. And if you want the sign posters, you've got to make some noise. Three, two, one, make some noise. All right, let's get these posters out. All week at the Brentwood Centre, we have not needed a jumper. But Singapore needed one there. Step forward. And Loisha Shipp, what a pot on the three to transform the rack and maybe the match. Thank you. Rack 10, Singapore to break, trailing by six racks to three. a good break just unfortunate to not have a good shot on the lowest ball that's cool that's nine ball all you can do is break as good as you can and see what the table gives you yeah, 
that's twice for Singapore. The one's caught the point and really not giving up and too, too good. much of a shot. I mean, he could go at this. It's a little touchy. You'd like to come behind the eight, kind of cutting the one a little bit, but there are some gaps between the four and nine. So all speed control. Is it another bank for Ruiz or Team Spain, rather? Yeah, I know what you're saying, JJ. If there is a bank, it probably will be Ruiz playing it. So. Yeah, David just pointed at Ruiz. And they do have to elevate the cue to play the bank, but you can see the two right on that side rail. Extension. Extension code. I'll tell you guys already made some banks. I'd have to let Ruiz play shoot this. Yeah, I think this is what this whole okay. World Cup of Pool yeah. event is about. You know, Scotch doubles, it's the first shot of the table. Spain can decide what shot to play. This tells me the bank is the shot they're going to play. If, we, if they was going to play a safety, David would be playing the safety. Well, Spain, it might just be your week because they fluked the ball, missed the bank, got the treble. What a fluke, and what a time. Caught that fat and either one. What a bonus. No obvious hurdles from here, Jeremy. No, and of course, I'm fortunate on the the fluke there and it was a touchy safety, but yeah, would have liked to have gotten the snooker. As Carl said, you play well, you play confident, you get rolls, and it just may be their week. We'll see. And when you start to feel as though you're destined to win, that's when freedom gets into the queue arm. If you think the, the pool gods are on your side, they're the best possible supporters. And the momentum that Singapore might have built up with that spectacular jump shot in the previous rack, now negated by a fluked double on the one from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. After that, it was plain sailing. Spain lead, 7-3. Just a reminder, this is a race to 11. So, Carl, they're drawing ever closer to the winning line with a good fortune there. Yes, good fortune indeed. David Alcady has won two World Masters. But there is something different about the World Cup. The fact that you're playing with somebody else, you're not just playing on your own. You're in a full week, probably a little longer for most of these players because they will be practicing together and in some training camps and stuff like that. Obviously, they don't have dinner and maybe some of them even share the same room. It's just a nice feeling when you can win a title like this and share the victory with somebody else. Rock 11, Spain to break level, leading seven rocks to three. I think that one was close as well, correct? And I think the lighter break not only is bordering our rules, but also I don't I think it's costed them some time at the table. Yeah, there's there's no value in it. I've said it earlier on in the season when Shane was 
during his power break. Obviously, the best breaker in the game, in Shane. And I just feel like you get more things going on, don't you? I don't know what would happen. What would happen if the referee felt it was too soft from now? I would guess it was probably just forfeit your turn. I mean, not something we really have crossed the path of. And us as, us as commentators apologize that we should know that, but probably got to play for a thin shot on the two here coming between the six seven with the cue ball maybe and just wants to hold up a little bit get that cut and it may have overran I think going back to the break situation it all depends whether the word in the air from Tessa Slava Boshilova earlier which definitely happened whether it was just an informal word or it was a warning Extend. Yeah, this shot here depends on how comfortable you are. He may be able to subtly swerve the ball and throw the two in and get around the purple five for position on the on the three. Otherwise, he'll be trying to knock the two away somewhere. Yeah, it looks like he's going to play the throw shot. Nervy shot. Nicely done. From Leon Han. Now I'll tell you, you got to watch it when you use this. Extension, it adds a little weight to the cue, so side spin can be a little tricky. I just come straight up, smart play. Too thick. Consequently, he caught an awful lot of that near jaw, but it fell in regardless. Here's a question for you, JJ. Do you think the shelf in the corner pocket could be a hair deeper? And if it was, do you think when they do hit the rail quite thick from that angle, it would hang? Yeah, you'd see a lot more hanging, that's for sure. Like right there, he hit the ball thick, but his stroke kind of saved the shot on that five ball. But any deeper shelf, I think that ball does hang up. And these are pretty deep shelves, as deep as they are in the game, really, on the Rasan. But the players are so good, right? You're trying to toughen it up. Yeah, it's just kind of a bit of a chat between two old timers in the context. All this debate in the world of pool. There's debate as to whether David Alcady should hit the balls harder off the break. But there's no debate. The last break off from the Spanish was counterproductive. It came up dry and Singapore did the rest. 7-4. Other tournaments, David's been a topic of that discussion before, borderlining the, the break speed, but real difference in this match. And it's been high quality on both sides, but Singapore really hasn't come away with a shot after the break to get some racks put together. Spain trying to become the fifth nation from Europe to win this World Cup. Singapore trying to become the fourth team from Asia to prevail.
Yeah. It's just another wonderful night in nine ball. And thanks to Matchroom Multisport, this whole game has been revolutionized. Next up, it's Fulda in Germany, the hometown of double world champion Torsten Homan. European Open, August 9 to 14. Then it's the US Open in Atlantic City. They're on the boardwalk, October 10 to 15. Players trying to emulate Jeremy Jones by winning that wonderful title. And talking about Jeremy, he's the US Moscone Cup captain in Las Vegas, November 30th to December 3. Rock 12. Singapore to break. Trailing seven racks to four. Quickly before Yap's break, let me tell you, we have had confirmation. The, the warning about the, the Spanish break is, was informal from Desislava Boshilova, not official. That's going to work out very good indeed. And... If you are watching and wondering why we keep talking about this soft break and warnings and quiet words in players' ears, it's just because we want to see the forceful break. We want to see the players hitting the break as hard as possible and trying to pack the cue ball. Okay. And if you've never been to a nine ball pool tournament, when it's done right, it doesn't have to make a, a great big old noise, doesn't it, Phil? A real kerfuffle. High ball here, cheating the hole a little bit. This could kind of bend a little. Yeah, I was afraid he might catch that three coming out. Still has a play on the side and the four, not bad position. You could just see that little fly on the rail there. Got the best seat in the house. And he's still there <laughs> as well. Nice shot there from Yap in very natural position. Just got to maintain, keep pocketing these balls. Should be a high ball here, getting position for the five in the opposite corner. was a spell in the middle of their quarter-final against Finland where Tolian Han was all over the place. Technically, he was completely malfunctioning. Really twitchy, jerky on a, a wide variety of shots. But when he got to six each, he seemed to calm down, strangely, and he was much better in the semi-final as well. You want the call, you want the... What? The call. The call. I, fo I follow. Mm -hmm. I follow to release your bit, you know. Okay. Yeah. Extension. Extension code. Oh, I feel like... I feel like I, I will give you a bit. But I follow it. It will be somewhere here. Though. Here is not weird. Can follow. I scroll a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and I think a smart shot there, giving him a little angle to move the cue ball with a little high right spin. 
around for the nine in the same pocket. Oh, he's going to draw across. Okay, nothing wrong with that. It's like a, a lot of times it's preference. This has been a good reply. This has been a good rap. Things are heating up here. They really are. Couldn't agree more, Carl. What a final, what a prize. We've come down to the climax of the World Cup of Pool. Spain did really well early on. Rack they 13. led 4-0. They Sing led. Trailing five racks to seven. Also, 6-2. But Singapore, they aren't going away. Rack 13. Okay, they can pop the one, but it's going to be some shot to get on that red three ball. Maybe you don't have to get the cue ball right around the table. Maybe you could sort of leave it till the middle on the, on the kind of right hand side, near the eight ball type thing, just to the right of that, and have some kind of thin pot on the red ball. Yeah, only try pot. If you were somewhere there, you'd be safe. 
Why are you scaring me crazy? Oh, also can Kwan. Ah. Okay. You Kwan, you know, for me. Yeah, I wouldn't shoot at this just to play safe on the three. It's too tough a shot on the one, in my opinion. I would probably maybe knock the one around three or four rails, maybe. I don't know. This this is difficult. I hate to cut at the one with no future run out involved. Such a tough shot. You hang it and see Spain have the opportunity to clear the table. Here is good. Okay. I think Han's leaning him towards moving the one around table. And the only problem is you hit a real extreme high ball right here. Watch out for the cue ball hooking towards that upper right corner. I think that's the smart shot. You got a little pressure on Spain finally. You got to see what they want to do from here. Yeah. Well said, JJ. Couldn't agree more. Seven five. This final. A bit about Spain. Singapore just hanging in, waiting patiently. Looking right down the line, he's got to swerve it a bit. Couldn't make this rail first. He might have made it naturally. Okay, safety got the got the shot. He's pulling off some big shots. You think, yeah, you know, he doesn't trust his partner. He's really kind of led the way on some safeties when Yap's been at the table as well. So fully trust each other, and that has a huge part to do with their success. And although that was awkward queuing on the one, didn't have to do much with the cue ball at all because the next ball in the rotation is the four in close proximity to the center a little bit of a stretch over the six for the big left hander here and with the eight there he's got to make a clear-cut decision the seven nine is playable though so options there yeah, Singapore, they've had to fade a little bit as well, haven't they, JJ? You know, the first rack, Spain hooked themselves, they kick a ball in. You know, they don't have to go in, them kick shots. Ruiz, flip a ball, so they've, they've stayed patient, but it's a little bit of a mistake, unless there's a dead combo. Yeah, that's what I would look at. Now the eight, you got to be concerned, but he can hit this with a high ball and beat the side pocket scratch coming across. You don't have to be close to the seven nine to make it if it's laying nice. And I agree with you. They've overcome not having shots after the break where their opponent has had many. He's pulling the cue ball here. No, he's raising the tip. out of that Carl he's feeling good Han is he is this is like Poole's version of the karate kid yep he's like Daniel LaRusso and Leon Han he's like Mr Miyagi sensei this is just a pull one rack behind yeah I don't like putting any side spin on this just a straight straight English just cut the seven Never in doubt, right between the uprights. What a comeback this from Singapore. 7-6, and consequently, the final, well, it's exactly what we expected. Keenly contested, 
And who's to say it won't go to the wire? Well, obvious to me they're feeling good, but on the other hand, Carl, you know the Spaniards, how they feel in this position. Big favorites. Pressure on them to start the match, of course. They relieve that pressure with a lead, but now 7-6. Anything other than the duration of their opponents. Every match they've won easy. I mean, it's not easy, but easy score lines. And that had this this close pressure of a 7-6, a 7-7. How are they gonna handle it? This final is set up absolutely perfect, just like that camera angle. Rock 14, Singapore to break, trailing seven racks to six. Nice cross. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trouble. Oh, that is horrible to see. Bow in hand. Yeah, crossed the one over a little bit. The one caught the point. Start the clock, please. Just a, a little unfortunate there with that kiss. Two kisses, actually. The eight just shaved the cue ball, rerouting it. And then the three added the last to it. And I don't think he would ever entertain the one nine here, even though it's not terrible. Just thinking back to the final last year, Luck played a, a major role as Germany beat Great Britain C. And as Carl and Jeremy have talked about, there's no doubt fortune favoring Spain right now. On multiple occasions, it has. Yeah, whenever you scratch on the break, you know, you're going to be in a bad spot. But sometimes you look at the table and think, oh, well, cheers. I've scratched all the balls. I sat over the pocket. You know, there's no real work to do other than just keep the cue ball nice and tight. <laughs> Yeah, I think the seven does go by the nine. It could be a little tight, so the guys might keep it simple here. Not do a whole lot. He's trying to get all the way over straight, so that tells me the seven definitely does play by the nine. Let's remember the semi-final Chinese Taipei on a couple of occasions. One racks you thought might get them going, and what did they do immediately afterwards? Scratched on the break. Yeah, the break can be your biggest weapon, but it can be awfully cruel at times. Extension cold. Yeah, I like coming past the side here. Go ahead and stay aggressive with the cue ball. One more step to being World Cup champions and a modicum of breathing space. Spain back to in front and a smile at least on one of their faces has returned I'm sure that Singapore Carl don't feel like smiling it was not one but two kisses that took that cue ball in yeah if you could be critical he lost the cue ball a little bit but you know at the end of the day it was 
but unfortunately you see him just coming across it yeah, the goes near ball. the side and Yap will have known the three ball was coming up to spoil his his break shot. I'll tell you one thing I noticed after that game, I don't know if you guys did, but I'll tell you what, Singapore's heart, I think they've trying to kind of change the crowd a little bit. A little light clap after that. I know it was an unfortunate scratch, so that always makes you feel bad as a fan, but I think they've changed a few fans there in the stands. Yes, as did Aloysius Shaft in Atlantic City last year when he almost won the US Open. After he beat Shane Van Boning, I suppose, in the eyes of many there, he was public enemy number one, but by the time he got to the final, he had a, an awful lot of support. Rock 15. Spain to break, leading eight rocks to six. Well, the brake speed won't be in question here with Ruiz addressing the cue ball. The one's going to catch the point. It's going to open up for some type of look at the one. A lot of congestion, though. I think he can see all the ones, so definitely got a lot of options here with all this congestion. Yeah, with you have all the balls like this. You can pick out a few different things. He could bank the one over by the seven. Extension goal. Follow his ball to the rail, up behind a bunch of balls. The four, five, and nine. The two and three are there. He could run the cue ball like he's going to do here. You know, we've seen the shot a few times this week, Jeremy. And quite often, it's been undercut. Just saying, if it's an attempted pot. Yeah, he's definitely having a go at this. Oh, he's good. How's the pace? How's the pace? Needs a bit of luck. And they've had some luck. Is that a moment? What may just change things a little? Obviously, they're still at the table. It's never going to be easy to hold the cue ball. He will have been putting every effort into the pot. Yeah, I'm having to kick this way at just a portion of the two with the three being there. So he's going to come two cushions. Ocho. A lot more of the two to kick at. And it's a nice hit there. Nice and see an early combination here on the two nine. Swing the cue ball back up table. Yeah, that was good. Two real hit. Maybe just keep some alive a little bit. We've got to take the nine on here, surely. Extension code. Mm -hmm. Can cut. I think well, I mean, they don't have to have a go. Maybe just bank the two up towards the seven. Yeah, I think he's supposed to shoot at it. The two does play by the nine. There's an option there. Well oh, said, JJ. Now is it their turn to get hooked behind the seven? Oh my word. Things are just not quite happening. For Singapore. Incredible bit of bad fortune. What a pot. Yeah, to play that, that shot with spin from distance. A lot of confidence and nerve shown there. And really, what we expected, similar to the shot. 
Five. Though David's was a little easier. There was no no picnic. He got right behind that ball as well. Oh. Oh. Knew that scratch was there. Yeah, this is just unfortunate. Spain will go for the 3-9 combo. But he always had to go to that rail and take his chances because of the pink four in the way of the natural two rail kick. Another three game lead looming. You know, in Q Sports, you hear people say, oh, look, evens itself out. Try telling that at the moment to Singapore. They've been cursed. Spain having the majority. Okay then, pool fans, we have a very special giveaway now. I've been rushed into this. It was a last-minute decision by the crew, but we're going to go with it. Anybody in here play at a local pool club? Anybody know about playing a local pool club? And one particularly in Essex or Brentwood area? Some hands gone down. All right, I'm going to go with this dude here in the black shirt. He's got a nice shirt. Come down here, man. Let's give him a round of applause. We've got to be very quick. Look, it's going to be nice and simple, sir. Look, Matchroom Pool is continuing to grow the sport of pool all over the country, all over the world, and we need to give away this set of balls. What pool club are you from? Uh, Legends in Braintree. Legends in Braintree. Anybody from Legends? God, they know, they know the Legends crew are in the building. One very simple question, and it is an easy one. How many balls are there on an iron ball, tail ball? Right, how many balls are there? Don't get it wrong, because if you get it wrong, I'm going to laugh at you. I'll still give you the balls, but I'll laugh at you. Here we go, come on then, sir. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, my God, he's got it wrong. I can't believe you got it wrong. You missed the cue ball, man. There's ten, there's ten balls. He plays pool. What's going on here? Look, listen, as mentioned, this is part of Matchroom's opportunity to help grow the sport. So we're giving to Legends Pool Club in Braintree. There is a set of balls, sir. Congratulations. Round of applause to the gentleman. There is 10 balls on a nine ball pool table. You know what? The last tournament I did, the questions were too easy. And now, it seems like they're too hard. I've got to go away and work on these. Right, back to the action then. Here we go. Rack 15 of this World Cup final brought double angst and annoyance for Singapore. First, an unlucky self-imposed hook. But then the scratch trying to escape that hook, which left a 3-9 combination for Spain. And they've reached nine in terms of racks. Two more required to Thank be crowned you. champions Spain to of break. the world. Nine racks to six. Dry break. 
But of course, the way few things have gone in this final, why would Singapore have an open shot on the one? This is the game of nine ball. This is nothing we, we don't see. This is what it's all about. This is why the tension builds up, and this is why Spain are desperate to win this tournament because it's so hard to win and it's hard to even get yourself in position to win Push tournament out. drive breaks okay. nine Push. nine Push out, gold. drive breaks from spain jj when they've hardly <laughs> lost any racks that's incredible good clean living from the spaniards and they played well though i mean that's what happens you get a little bit of breaks you know next week or next month when they compete again as individuals We'll see what kind of breaks they get. You know, it comes and goes. You know that, Carl. And a very difficult rollout here. I'm not sure where he's going with it. It's just an edge of the left edge of the one. Still, this is super touchy. I don't, I'd probably give this back at first glance anyways. This is very no, no, hard to control sí. both. I, no, no, I don't no, really see no, much no, here no, at all. Back to Singapore. Ping, Cubo, come here. Forget about the one. Extension. Extension code. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he's advising Han to do. Is it something about bringing the cue ball? But I don't really see an easy way to move the cue ball. You have to get by the seven. I guess you'll draw up the left side of it. Could get all kinds of kisses on balls. They're going to get a little bit of a break here. Kicking off the right hand side. Rail is okay. But the, you know, hitting this ball is, is easy. He's getting it safe. I think he was entertaining the mild kick, hitting the just one rail. Catching the one and trying to use the nine. Oh, he's going with some speed. A oh, nice hit. He may fluke the ball. No. Nope. Pays to hit him. Yeah, he did good, didn't he, JJ? The fact that the cue ball was spinning still after contact. That's what made it stay around the area. Yeah, and that wasn't by chance. That was totally intentional trying to catch the heavy part of the one. Remember a big miscue <laughs> on a jump shot. It was it four to zero, right? When they went for the breakout, got snookered and kind of got Singapore going. There's David Alcadio had a, a miscue. It was a difficult jump, but didn't expect him to foul. Fortune this time from Spain. It's a good jump shot. But the scratch has happened. Singapore jump out of the chairs. Take another look at this. Watch the cue ball. And the three does nearly go by the seven. The problem is when you have a portion of the pocket. You've got to work the ball back for the four and then upstairs for the five, back down for the six. So a lot of work here at game number 16. This is the great thing about the World Cup. Scotch doubles, matches ebb and flow. We've seen it right from first thing on Tuesday morning. 
Yes, we've had some runaways. We've had some dominant performances. But in the latter stages from the quarterfinals onwards, the pendulum has been working on overtime. Yeah, tricky situation here with the seven being covered up. And the nine being there, right? If he plays the six in the lower left, he has to gain an angle on the six to get to the seven. And the nine's kind of impeding. <laughs> this needs to settle. This needs to settle. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. At least at first glance, it seems so. Yeah, they're in trouble here, Carl. Always seems to land straight. Couldn't do nothing about that just because of the distance the cue ball had to travel. Wow, he's going to have to put a good stroke on this. This is horrible. Is the left English going to take? That's the problem on the slick table. It doesn't grab like your club table, and I think they're for a little bit shy. And you've made this observation quite correctly, Jeremy, before this match, that if he is a little susceptible, it is on the power shots, doesn't possess a great amount, and he needed an awful lot. He needs a touch of left English here. I don't think he can get really a kiss shot, but he's got to contain the seven. Nice, he wants to lay the cue ball down on the rail. Well, if it's a bank, it may be Ruiz. Oh, it has to be Ruiz, that's correct. Uh, David scratched on the jump. Yeah, I think uh, overall, Yap's done well there just to... Spain come with something, that's all you can do. Play the shot, move some distance. Some days, this bank will go in. Some days it won't. Biggest shot of the match coming up, folks. It's 9-6. If this bank goes in and he gets on the eight, Spain could be on the hill. It's close. It's close. It's in the middle of the pocket. Ruiz with a big bank. His partner knocked in the most iconic length of table bank in matchroom pool to win the World Masters against Alexander Kazakis. That was the final nine ball. The seven there could be the final nail in the Singapore Challenge. Yeah, the full table bank is kind of known on tour as the al qaeda What a shot it was, and what a time it was to produce it. Terrific from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz as Singapore fall 10 6 behind. As Carl said, Spain on the hill. Yeah, and I actually heard Sanchez just say to David, World Pool Master. So we were talking about David's shot that won in that final. Went in, Jeremy. Beautifully clean. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, Phil, that he never touched the side rail at all. And I think as soon as Ruiz saw the cue ball hit the seven, he knew it was in. Confident walking Spaniard. We could be at Fenway Park here, sweet Caroline, Jeremy. Yeah, definitely, that's the home of it. And the Scone Cup is brought it along as well. But definitely, uh, that's the Red Sox 2-7th inning, I believe it is. Just one more rack. That's all they need. Just one more. FSR walking around like a 
a caged lion. He wants this rack to be put in place, but Desislava Boshilova having to take her time to make sure everything is pinpoint. I thought she was just taking her time so the crowd could have one more blast of the song. Track 17, spent break on the hill, leading 10 6. Big power break coming up. Yeah, he's had one golden break already. Ooh, those balls flew by nine. I was paying heavy attention to that. And is there a kiss shot on the nine here? Definitely is one that does play. I wonder if there's a bank kick available as well. Yeah, possibly. A straight back bank on the two, trying to play into the nine. There is position there. Oh, he's telling him I can bury him up here. Kind of bank, bank the two away and kind of follow the ball behind the four. But man, this nine ball looks good. I think he's going to shake the four or five around two, have an option to fluke one of those balls in. So it's the carom off the edge of the two, the cue ball into the nine to win the first World Cup of Pool for Spain. It's there! Spain are the World Cup of Pool champions with the carom on the nine! What a shot! Unbelievable scenes here in Brentwood, the home of Matrooms, who bring you the World Cup of Pool. It's been their tournament since the inaugural year in 2006. Ever since high quality stuff it was also very tense only five balls missed in the 17 rack the pod success rate actually Singapore was slightly superior they didn't miss one from distance but undoubtedly one has to say this Spain although they brought it at the end and produced a couple of spectacular efforts Spain did have a favorable run nevertheless in the tournament as a whole who could deny them? They were brilliant. They won 43 racks and they lost only 14. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the official World Cup of Pool Trophy presentation with our presentation party managing director of Matroom Pool, Emily Fraser, and the leader of the Brentwood Council. It's Chris Hossack, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what a fantastic week we've had here at the Brentwood Centre. Have you enjoyed it? 
You've been absolutely phenomenal all week. You really have. You two have been phenomenal as well. Many congratulations. Francisco, how does it feel to be World Cup of Pool champion? Wow, it's, it's amazing. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone. This is... Oh. And second, I want to say thank you to my partner. He played amazing. He played an unbelievable combination. Yes. I feel so good now. I think, I think we deserve because we, we work too much. We travel around the world. It's a very tough moment. So now we, we dream for one tournament like this and we got today. David, you're a two-time world pool master, but to win, to, win a tro to, win, to win a trophy for your country, how does that feel for you, especially with a, such a close friend of yours? <laughs> I think uh, always when you play for the team, uh, no, not to mention Mosconi or World Cup of Pool, it's more special when you play single. Of course, when it's my little brother, uh, we play the last 10 years together, we work so hard, promise we work so hard, and this moment is amazing for us. Amazing. You've been phenomenal. I'll speak to you very, very shortly. I just want to get a word. Singapore, a round of applause for Singapore. Please. I wish this, you're a phenomenal player. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch you both this week. How happy of you to have made the final? Um, it's amazing. It's unexpected because we kind of struggled and we actually switched off in the second match. So we switched with each other. <laughs> so it's, it's like a new fresh start for us. And yeah, it's amazing to play the final. Spin, they played really well and we, we didn't really have much of a chance. But when we did, we couldn't really capitalize on it much. So it's okay. That's pool. We, we've been quite lucky throughout the week. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. I know your this is your partner, your coach. I know he's incredibly humble, but he he's not been playing in many tournaments, no TV tournaments. It's actually incredible to reach a final like this. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, uh, the last time uh, we did well in the World Cup of Pool was back in 2006 or seven when they got to the quarterfinals. And yeah, I've been telling him like 15 years later, how does it feel? <laughs> well, you yeah. have done, both of you, you've done your country immensely proud. And you are such a popular player in the whole nine ball community. Many congratulations to you both. We look forward to seeing you again over the next few months. Guys, Emily, uh, the runners up trophies here. <laughs> Singapore, everyone. Gentlemen, final thoughts. I mean, you have been absolutely phenomenal this week. Did you feel as day after day, wow, I'm feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, every day we have a lot of confidence. All the score is 7-1, 7-1, 9-2. Of course, when you look this, you think this all time. Come on, let's go. But in semi-final and final, <laughs> To be honest, we are so nervous sometimes, but when we have top shot, we play so, so good. And this man, over the last few months, actually the whole year has played so good, you certainly be in the minds for the Moscone Cup, the way you are playing. Is that on your mind? Because you're playing some fantastic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's my next goal, yeah, but... To be honest, I don't want to, to think about the Moscone now. I have too, too many tournaments, US Open, so I, have, I want to stay focused in US Open, for example. Brilliant. You've been absolutely phenomenal. Finally, did you wear the lucky socks, to, lucky yeah. socks tonight? Yeah! Yes! Br brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, gentlemen. Spain, you are the World Cup of Pool champions. Go and get your trophy. Sweet.
Spain Spain are the 2022 World Cup of Paul winners. They fully deserve it. They've been fantastic all week. This crowd have been fantastic. We've loved every second. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got loads of Paul still to come for the rest of the year. We're just getting started. But thank you so much for joining us and good night. And it goes five, four, three, two, one. The numbers jump. Five, four, three.